What is up guys? Welcome back here to another free to play content. Today we are working on our free to play account. This is the restart jumper account that we have in 2500. And today the event is called now or never. So in this content that you're going to see, I'm going to push my power. Now as a free to play, this is something that is very difficult because you need to bank up all of your speed ups and as well as resources to get to participate in events. Now, I am not aiming to be number one since this is the um, now or never, you know, the training of troops will still be applicable, but this is an event where you can use your speed ups. So if you're going to um, notice in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm mainly going to be working onto my technology. Now, I am trying to get my mathematics first to 10, and that is very important because the mathematics will save you a lot in the long run. So if there is something that is very important for you to work on, it's going to be the mathematics because this is going to be in the um, accumulation of research speed ups that you're going to use eventually in the long run. It will decrease it. it it's going to make the research much faster here in your game in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, one of the big thing is that my goal here is to improve my technology. Being uh, where the status I am, 10 million power, quite low, my technology has been stalled since I didn't have a lot of activity time to really work on a lot of these things. And I've been banking a lot of my um, speed ups. The reason why I was doing this is because I want to be able to win some legendary commander sculpture. Now, regardless, um, I'm not going to try to take number one because it's always going to be hard. There's always going to be whales going to try to get the number one spot. So my goal is to at least rank into the top 10, which I did rank top 10. I think I got like four legendary commander sculpture for that, which is really good because I need to power up. I need to get stronger. I need to work onto my, you know, economic tree. And in this video, in the process of this, you're also going to see me working onto the military tree as well. Now, um, there are some buildings that I am going to upgrade, but I am not totally going to push it to CH25. The reason for that is the power gain from building is too much for lesser days. Now, the speed ups for the, um, the, I guess the duration of time for research is longer days, which is a perfect, you know, perfect sequence for when you are going to be competing on a minutes or speed up event, which is what we're doing. If it's speed up events, you go for technology, longer days, and um, slightly, you know, moderate power, but you get long days really for the amount of resources that you're going to use. So that is just much better. Um, when you are doing the building, it's going to cost a lot in comes to uh, resources, right? This is going to be lower resources as well when you're doing the research. The building costs a lot of resources, shorter days, and high power. The high power of it, it's you know, you want to use that high power in a power up event, which in this next video, we're going to be double dipping. All right. We're going to be double dipping because you're going to see what I'm going to do in the end in here. I'm going to double dip, which means is that I'm going to finish a certain power uh, level or a certain technology with the combat for the military technology. After I use all my speed up, I think it's like 20 something days or 30 or 40. I forgot. Now we'll see in the video in here. I was recording this on my iPad. Um, basically, I'm going to collect it because we're going to have like insane amount of power that to gain. So after you finish your usage of speed ups, you don't have to collect the technology. You can let it stew there until the next event. And that's what I'm going to do. And that is a good practice for free to play players in this game to succeed and you know have you know a competitive level against other players that are whales now they might be whales um actually we're looking at the battle reports in here enjoy that for now um there might be whales in here in the game right but you can definitely compete with them if they do not understand the situation or they do not understand the strategy on how to compete so if there are whales and they're competing for a power up event and they have to use their you know, speed ups and resources and everything on that specific day. But if you have already a stewing research or technology, or maybe you timed it with your building, then it's going to be so perfect for you as a free to play to get ahead. And it, you may not win because you're going to um, have to still compete with whales and they can always push, they can buy bundles, they can buy whatever they want and push and 
you know have have more speed ups. But the idea in this is that you're putting yourself in a greater position against everybody in your kingdom to compete. So that's what I'm going to do in here, and that's what you're going to see in this first video and into the next video as well. So hopefully you will watch two of the videos in here just to learn on the free-to-play aspect of the game. Now, if you guys love the free-to-play gaming um, that we have here in 2500, I would love for you guys to support us in here to um, subscribe to the channel, smash like onto the video. These things help us tremendously working on YouTube. It's not easy doing this. You know, it might seem so easy, an external part, but it's, it's actually very challenging. So um, little appreciation. I do appreciate it. I want to say thank you to every single one who subscribe and support the channel. And if you were watching the ads, I definitely appreciate it because this is one way that we get compensated. I know it's so easy to skip the ads, but when you do watch it, it really helps us out because this is our work and it gives us the motivation to keep doing and continuing what we're doing as well in a monetary standpoint. Now, as you can see, um, in this power-up that I'm doing, even though it's a speed-up event, right, I'm still trying to maximize everything. I have the rune that has a 15% research, and then I also have, you know, the scientist title. And if you look at that earlier, the power of that building, right, it gives you so much power when you upgrade that building. So when you spend it on the building, you remember it costs a lot of resources for doing that. Um, the technology is definitely the best approach when it comes to speed up events and um, really good to stew. All right. So right now I'm upgrading some of the buildings because I do need to upgrade some buildings, but I'm not going to upgrade the major buildings like the wall, the city hall, because those provide a significant amount of power that can be really pushed on a power up event which I'm going to do in the next day of this because after this event, we are going to see the power up event and it's going to be tremendously nice and helpful because, right, because we are, you know, we are doing what we're doing here with the right strategy in mind and I'm going to be double dipping and going to be able to win more sculpture as a free to play. And as you guys know, being a free to play winnings the sculptures is going to be very helpful now the technology that i'm working in here i finished in mathematics um i should have finished i didn't finish the um the building ones i should have finished it but i'm not highly concerned about the building so the reason for that is eventually we'll have so much you know everything's going to be so much right uh building speed ups later on um, I don't really care much about the building. I know I have enough for it. And um, I know that the technology is going to be the one that is really, um, you know, a pain when it comes to speed ups because you have to finish those big three and then you have to go through, uh, you have to go through the, uh, you know, the T5 research as well. So research is going to be the big thing when it comes to speed ups. The buildings, you'll, you'll get CH25 before you even max out your tech. So I'm not concerned about the building. So um, I'm upgrading a little bit in here, but I wish I did upgrade. I will tell you now. I wish I did. So if you are doing the now or never, you should probably finish up the building uh, beside the mathematics and the constructions, uh, uh, construction buff. So into the next video, you're going to see me try to push to CH25 as a free-to-play, and that's going to be you know, amazing. Now, one of the best things in here in 2500 is that I'm able to chill, um, and especially two winning KVKs plays a major role in our gaming here with with them, and as well as the account. Um, I'm finishing up my siege buildings. I'm finishing up my archer. I think I'm trying to make it to 23. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be 100% holding off into upgrading my wall and as well as upgrading my CH. So here we go. We're going to up upgrade it to um, 23. I believe that's the goal. If you look at that, you get so much power. Look at the wall in here. Only four days for 200k power. That is insane, right? Lower amount of time of speed ups that you're going to be using but you get insane amount of power. So there's a few things here that gives you, you know, you know, huge power. The wall, the, uh, the city hall, the hospitals, those are going to be the big kicker when it comes to power boost when in your building. So let's say you're a free-to-play, you're trying to, you know, boost up your power. These things that I just mentioned, wall, city hall, the hospitals, those are some of the things that you need to upgrade so that you can catch up with power, uh, you know, to join the um, stronger alliances, right? 
So that's something that you need to understand within the game. That's what you need to work on. Now, if you are working on to the academy, I highly recommend that you get your mathematics, as I mentioned earlier, and then work on to the big three. Now, I like to go for the attack um, rather than going to the defense or HP. I want to hit it harder. I want to be able to come into the battlefield, hit it harder. Um, but at this moment, you still cannot really fight T5, right? You, you really need those next level um, buff for the troops to kind of sustain a little bit onto the T5. This buff that I have right now as I'm working to the big three, it's not going to be enough. I'm going to try my best to push as far as I can with the big three. And eventually, I'm going to work on to the next one after that, you know, after you're researching those T4. You, really, the big thing is finding a time to where to compete on event and use those speed ups and win Legendary Commander Sculpture. So if you're hoarding, you're doing, you're doing the right thing. You're in the right position. Hoarding is good in this game. Collecting items is really good. And then having the time to unload everything and to win Legendary Commander Sculpture that's the strategy of playing Rise of Kingdoms. As you can see, I've upgraded a few things in here with my building, but I'm not pushing so far. Um, the, it's, it's insane. I think at the end of this event, I think I saw that there was they were pushing the top one and two were fighting each other, and they were like over 500 minutes, 500,000 minutes. It's absolutely insane. All right. So as you can see in here, I'm also running out of uh, research speed ups. I'm draining myself as we go through. Um, I am finishing that, you know, the attack part of it. I'm looking at the rankings. I did end up ranking onto the top 10 and I got some sculptures, but it is definitely challenging as a free to play to work onto this progress, right? So keep in mind that you definitely need to um, have a strategy coming into an event. You should not just. Um, you should not just come into an event without any plan, and this is this is a perfect plan that I did. I've done this before with my main account, so if, even if you are a whale, the strategy that I'm presenting in here is going to save you a lot of money in the game, all right? If you're doing the strategy that I'm doing, it's for you to win some Legendary Commander Sculpture. You can just whale it out, or you can do it whale with strategy. That would be much better in your gaming, Resources were definitely depleted. I believe I'm going to end up using some of my bags in here to open up and get some resources, right? So I'm going back in here to the military technology. I'm showing you right now where I am at, how far I've gone. I'm on 7 to 10, and now it's going to be 24 days onto the research of that combat tactics, which I am going to go for the combat tactics. 24 days, we're going to finish it up, but we're not going to collect it. So I guess I ended up at 8 out of 10. Um, with this so the combat tactics I made the defense formation and the herbal to at least minimum of five I think defense is six but that's going to help me at least you know grind barbarians and do all these things so just make sure before this video ends that when you cook up stuff you can use the speed ups on this now or never event or any speed up events and then leave it don't collect it right away collect it at the end uh, when a new event starts and a power-up event, all right? So wait to collect. Anyway, Ruggers, I'll see you again next time.